peaks on Monday, the rain midweek, and then last night's heavy snowfall made for a slow and treacherous trip through Turnigan Pass this week. It sure did, and that's not all the same conditions that really increase the risk of avalanches. Heading into the weekend, Joe Kratosik has more from Turnigan Pass. The higher elevations of Turnigan Pass saw about two feet of snow with the most recent storm system. So if you're going to be heading out, it's always a good idea to make sure you're checking up on the latest avalanche forecast. And that's what we did today. At first glance, you might think Andrew and Wendy are smoothing out the sides of an igloo or a snow fort, when actually they are searching for signs of avalanche danger. We're looking for the building blocks of a snowpack and if there is a layer near the bottom or near the foundation that's weak, that's not going to allow for a whole lot of snow to pile up on it before that snow comes off. But here's what's tricky. The weak spot can be layered anywhere in the two feet of snow that has just fallen to, in this case, the other three to four feet that has already been on the ground. So they dig. We dug our pit here. We'll isolate a column here and then see just what it would take if we can get this column to pop off and to break. And if we get something to break down here on any of these weak layers, then we know that we've, that's a kind of a clear sign that we've got unstable conditions where it's likely that someone could trigger an avalanche. Next, they just need something that resembles the weight and pressure of a moving person. Turns out, the shovel and a few taps of the hand do just the trick. And with several good smacks, watch carefully, the top part of the sample begins to topple over. What that tells us is at least right here where we dug this pit, we have the recipe to make an avalanche. It's telling us it's likely that we could see an avalanche. Oh, easily that's not, yeah, that's incredible. Now, just imagine this taking place on a much larger and wider scale and about another one to 2,000 feet up. Once that trigger pops, gravity pretty much takes care of the rest. So that weak snow is sitting on top of this really strong layer of crust. And this crust is a really nice, smooth, slippery, slippery plane for the avalanche to go down. But the good news is the snow will just need another couple of days to compact and settle, which will firm up that metal layer. In Turnigan Pass, I'm meteorologist Joe Bartosik, Alaska's news source. If heading out to enjoy the fresh powder in the backcountry, they suggest avoiding moving on or below steep slopes. And additionally, they point out that recent warm temperatures mean that there's a growing concern for roof avalanches this weekend as well. So they say keep an eye out for children, pets, and be mindful of where you park your car. Good tip. Well, a different type of emergency hitting Alaska and the nation for the first time ever. The Red Cross is declaring a national blood crisis. Since December, the Red Cross has had to restrict the amount of blood that's going to area hospitals um, nationwide. It's about 